In this series, we're going to be talking today about the parts of the flag and the fundamentals of basic flag technique. So to start, we have the bottom pole cap, we have the bottom tape, we have the top tape, we have the tab, and then we have the top pole cap. So in a few positions to start, we'll start with a flat. We'll take our right hand and put it at the tab, and take our left hand and we'll cover the bottom tape. What we want to think about is when we're covering the bottom tape is that we don't have our pinky covering it like that. We have it fleshed up, up against the end of the pole cap, just like this. And what we want to think about is having our, our elbows nice and aired out here. So looking at some of our friends here, what we don't want to see is we don't want to see our elbows all the way down here, okay, up here. Nice and level and flat. Another thing we don't want to see is your flat to be all the way up to chest level. We want it just to make it by the hip level. This is what we call flat, flat to the earth. The next position we're gonna talk about is right shoulder. So if we go from our initial flat position, what we'll do is we'll take our right hand and we'll go to the right shoulder. What we wanna think about in this position is making sure that we are standing nice and tall, we are relaxing our elbows and we're relaxing our shoulders and that our flagpole is not sitting up against our belly, just like this. If it has Sean turned to the side, what we don't want to see is what we're saying is this. What we want to do is make sure that we push out this left hand from the belly button and pull back that right hand from the top. Another thing that we can see from the right shoulder, so if I have Laura turn this way, is if we are back like this. What we would think about is making sure that we pull that right hand forward and pulling this one back. We're thinking about between three to six inches from the belly button. Okay, thank you. From here, we want to make sure that our flag is perfectly bisecting our body. What do we do not want to see is the, a true right shoulder. We want to see the right shoulder here. So once again, going from flat, go ahead. We're just going to go flat to right. And one, five, six, seven, eight, and up and here. First thing, when you pull out the flag, we need to find the tag, the bottom of the, the silk and that's usually denoted by the tag on the bottom. The next thing we do, slide the flag onto the pole. And then what we do, we will weight the flags. What I do is use a three inch carriage bolt on top. I'll put it in, tape it around. The next thing you need is your end pole cap. Rubber stopper, you can find them anywhere. You'll put that on, then you'll tape around the pole cap all the way around the pole cap, just so it's like the, either the same color, so the flag doesn't catch a sail. What you'll do next is you'll pull the flag all the way down, and you, you want to make sure that you line up the seam, and make sure that it's straight along the pole. From there is where we'll tape the tab. The tab, then you'll just tape around the tab a couple of times, just make sure that the tab is not shown, and you want to make sure that the flag is nice and taut. If not, untape it and start again. Then what you want to do is you'll find your bottom pole cap. And from here on the bottom, I use a two inch weight carriage bolt. And then I'll put that in, tape it around, find your rubber stopper, put that on top, and tape that all the way onto the pole so that stopper never comes off. Before you uh, start putting the silk onto the pole, you want to measure out your thirds. And since if you have a six foot pole, your thirds are going to be a foot apart. So take out a measuring tape, line it up to a six foot mark, and at each one foot, two foot, three foot, four foot, five foot, you'll put a little bit of a uh, marker here, what we'll call the cheater tapes. 